The letter I am about to read was sent to me by Larry Young, father of Molly Young, and was written by former Carbondale, Illinois Mayor Joel Fritzler on or about July 14, 2013, just before he left office. He was mayor during the initial stages of Molly's cover-up. Now he is the grant and contract administrator for Northern Arizona University. Shortly after he left, Southern Illinois University Chancellor Rita Chang also left and is presently the president of Northern Arizona University. Do you think it was a coincidence that they both left at about the same time and moved to a different university? Or is it possible that they witnessed the corruption in law enforcement in relation to the SIU and left out of frustration being unable to do anything about it? Knowing about the cover-up in Molly's case and suspecting and fearing other similar cover-ups and additional murders classified as suicides, their timing seems appropriate. And now, Praveen Varagis is gone. Ask yourself, just how many more of our kids will die? When will law enforcement begin to properly respond? And now, here is that letter. Yeah. Sworn officers of the City of Carbondale Police Department. At the beginning of my career as a law enforcement officer, you swore an oath to either myself or a previous mayor of Carbondale to support and comply with the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Illinois, ordinances of the City of Carbondale, and the rules and regulations of the Carbondale Police Department and the Law Enforcement Code of Ethics, and that you would faithfully discharge the duties of office of Carbondale Police Officer according to the best of your ability. I am a good example of how the direction of life can change course a number of times during a lifetime, so I would completely understand if at this time in your life you feel that you are no longer able to fulfill the oath of office of a Carbondale police officer. You know much better than I, being a police officer is not like being a retail clothing store clerk or a movie theater associate taking tickets. That's why there isn't an oath of office for movie theater associates. The life of Carbondale residents and visitors and your fellow officers are constantly in your hands, which is why police have to live by a higher set of rules and ethics. Just showing up to work as a store clerk might do is far from being good enough. I believe that Carbondale has the most professional police department in the state of Illinois, and having relatives that serve and have served as police officers, you have my deepest respect. But, if you are no longer able to comply with your oath or faithfully discharge the duties of your office, you are not being true to yourself or to the residents of Carbondale. If this is the case, the best course for all concerned may be for you to seek a, vi a vocation that is more suited to your needs and goals. Do you think that that Mayor Fritzler knew what was going on? I sure do. Stay tuned.